Hello friends, so today we're gonna discuss the last problem on the latest bi-weekly contest 30, problem D, stone game 4. So Alice and Bob take turns to play a game with Alice as the starting person. Initially there are n stones in a pile, so you have like n stones and on each player's turn that player can make a move consisting of removing any non-zero square number of stones in the pile. So what does this mean that? like on every player turn the player will remove some like some stones from this pile of stone which have n stones so like you you can assume you have some n stones lying uh, like uh, lying ahead of you and at every turn you can take out some number of uh, like stones such that the number of stones is a perfect square okay so, so like it can be one four nine and so on and also if a player cannot make a move he or she loses the game so there are two person bob and Alice. so who cannot make a move will lose so given a positive integer n how many stones you have, you have to return true if Alice wins the game, otherwise return false if like Alice loses the game or Bob wins, assuming both the players play optimally. So as you can see, if like there is only one stone, Alice can remove one because one is a perfect square of one itself. Now if there are two, Alice can only remove in the form of one, four and she cannot remove four because there is only one stone. So you can only remove one stone. And after removing one stone, the Bob is removed, like Bob is left with only one stone. And like Bob can also take out one stone and now Alice cannot move. And such the answer is false because Alice will lose. So what we will do here is we will start building this matrix. Why we are doing this? Because uh, you will understand that uh, for finding out whether Alice will win or not, we can first write down some of the test cases because for all the game theory questions, try to write down some of the starting values and then try to calculate some further values using the backward values because the answer will be predefined if it, they are playing optimally. Okay, so for only one, Alice will win, so the answer is true. For the two, Alice will like lose, so answer is false. If there are three stones and like because you can only take out in one because it's not greater than four. So the answer is like true only. Why? Because Alice will take out one, then Bob will take out one, then Alice will take out one, and Bob cannot move, and thus Alice will. Move. Now, because four is a perfect square, Alice can take out the whole number in the first chance. And because Alice can take out the whole number, Alice will win because Bob cannot play, and thus the answer is true. Okay. Now for five, there are two chances: whether I can take out one or whether I can take out four. If I take out one, I will leave out with this condition in which I have four stones now. And if I take out four, I will go back five minus four is one. I will leave to this condition. As you can see, both of the answer is true. Both of the answer is true means that Alice will win in this. If Alice is in this condition, she will win. But because Alice has taken this number and Alice have taken this number, which means that Alice have taken the chance first. And then this lead to this condition in which it is of true, which means whoever land on this number will win. And thus, as you can see, because both of them true, Alice, if she take one or four, she will always turns out on true and thus she will always loses because if she take out one, then she falls on four, she will lose. If she take out four, then uh, like it will, she will land, she will land on one and thus uh, she will also lose. And thus in both the cases she will lose and so the answer is just false so as you can see what i have actually done here is you can store all the perfect squares while you're moving in the whole vector and the maximum number of perfect squares will be as you can see the n is just up to 10 to power 5 so if you take like 100 100 square is just 10 to power 4 so it's less than 200 it's very less so you will store all the perfect square while you are, while you are moving through the whole matrix and what you will do for every number you will see if you take out this number or if you take out any of these perfect square numbers where you will land and wherever you will land you will check that whether there is some false there because if there is some true option there which means that if you land on this true everything is true then you cannot win because everything on anything you will land on this will lead to a beneficial answer for the opponent the opponent will always win if you land on that point and thus as you can see for 6 
now for 6 you can take out 4 so if you take out 4 you will end on this which is false if you take out 1 you will end on this and it is false so as you can see if you land any one of them then you will always win which means that if you take out this then Bob will never win and you will always win the answer is true for this you can this is true and this is also true and thus you will end on to be false now this is interesting as you can see now if you go back one you can take out one or four if you take out this it is false but if you go on four it is true which means that there is one option which is false which means that if i go here bob will always lose okay and if i go here bob will win so because i'm playing optimally i will move here and thus if i move here bob will be having the point 7 and whoever having the point 7 will always lose which I have stated here because Bob will all can subtract 1 then Alice will win if Bob will subtract 4 then also Alice will win and thus the answer is true for this and so on so you can build this whole like vector along we are moving and if we encountered a square as you can see it's 9 then Alice will always win this is just a true and you will also push back this whole square in this vector which we are creating and now we'll iterate over all these back numbers because you can take out any of these numbers. So that's the whole question. I'll take it on to the code part now. So I have taken on for the first three numbers because I know them. I've easily completed true, false, true. So it's just true, false, true. Then this is a square which will show all the square numbers. I will push back one because we are less than four. Then we'll iterate from four till equal to n. And we'll check that what whether this is a square number. If this is a square number, we will just mark a of i is true because Alice will win and we will push back because it is square, we will push back this sq in this vector. We will continue. Else what we will do, we will iterate over all the values in the square, subtract them from i and whenever we reach a false, which means that I can go to that state and then Bob will land on a false and Alice will win. And thus, if there is any one false th down there, we will just make ai equal to true make a flag equal to one that I have found one false and then we break out. If we don't found any of the falses, we means that there is all true and whenever I land, I will always lead to a bad situation. And thus, if the flag is zero, I haven't found any false, they're all true, then the answer is just equal to the false. And we will just output the answer of A of N. I hope you understand the logic because we have to find the output what is the answer if we go optimally to of A, A of N. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts, please mention down. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.